Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel English for all reasons good based on the CBSE guidelines and syllabus. Today we are going to do analytical paragraph based on a line graph. This is the part 3 as part 1 and part 2 dealt with the basics of analytical writing and part 2 dealt with the bar chart. Now this one in the line is for line graph. and this is the most expected question for your board exams now this is the line graph that you can see and i'll be discussing this graph and the topic that i've taken it is a very recent topic deals with the corona virus spread so the question study the graph using the mnemonic so obviously i will be Uh, studying this graph using the mnemonic that i have discussed in part 1 if you haven't seen part 1 go and watch that part for the mnemonic so the graph below shows the corona virus case load among the five countries of the world summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant so this is our question now using the mnemonic this is the mnemonic so we will be studying the graph and we will jotting we will jot down the main points so first is k that is kind so kind is kind of data or graph so what kind of graph is this so it is a line graph and it is showing confirmed cases in millions so you can see here on the y axis it is the population in millions and on the x axis is the time period the time period is in months so from march to july 2020 so x axis projects months and y axis gives the population in millions so your next letter is s from s we have similarities so all are showing upward trend so if we see all these countries these five countries they are all showing upward trend brazil russia and uk they have similar number of cases at one point so here at one point these countries they have a similar number of cases so these are similarities now from d we have differences so the us is displaying a steep rise than others so this is one difference and the curve of the uk has flattened as compared to others so these are two differences that i have pointed out now next we come to parts parts is very important because this will help us to divide our writing or divide our paragraph into two parts because we need at least two body parts so taking this as the general line so i have divided this paragraph or this information into two parts from 1st march till may 25 and then from may 26 to july 6 so march 1 to may 25 that is before opening in india and may 26 to july 6 that is after the reopening of the lockdown in india so this is my base baseline now next we have g g stands for groups so i have a same group i don't have any other grouping so my groups are the same march 1 to may 25 and may 26 to july 6 now time period that is given is obviously on the x axis the time period is from march 1 to july 6 2020 now the general trend the general trend is rising and increasing number of cases measurement now here the measurement that is given it is in millions because this is population and change over time so change over time that is from march to july 2020 it is past because now we are in august so this is past so we will be using past tense now this is the vocabulary chart for reporting a line graph this i have taken from net so there are others also if you want to uh, see those you can but this i found it was a very comprehensive one so from here we can take words that we can use in our line graph now we come up to the writing part so again the question we'll go through the question once again The graph below shows the coronavirus case load among the five countries of the world. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main idea, features, and make comparisons where relevant. So first, we have to write the introduction. So as I told you previously, introduction is just the paraphrasing of the statement given in the question. So we will do the same. So the statement is the graph below shows the coronavirus case load among the five countries of the world. 
So our introduction becomes the given line graph. So it is the graph below. So I'm writing the given life graph. So here it says, says shows, I'm writing illustrates the active COVID-19 caseload. So it says the coronavirus caseload. So I've changed it into the active COVID-19 caseload among the US, Brazil, India, Russia, and the UK. So I have specified the countries Whereas the question gives that it is the five countries of the world. Which five countries that is not given? So I have specified. And the question does not give us the month. So I have specified that also. From March 1 to July 6, 2020. So this becomes our introductory line. Now after introduction, we have to write overview or we can write conclusion in the end. So I have discussed this earlier also. If you want to write conclusion, then you should skip overview because overview and conclusion, they are mostly the same. So we will be writing conclusion. So that is why I am skipping overview and we straight away come to body paragraphs. So the first body paragraph. So the graph shows a rocketed increase in the number of confirmed cases in the US from March 25 till May 25, 2020. So here you can see this steep rise. So I've used the word rocketed increase. Reaching around 1.75 million. So from here, we can see that this is my point, the base point. So here, 1.75 million mark it reaches and therefore I've written that. So the UK picked up behind the US, though very slowly, it touched only 250,000 mark of positive cases on May 15 before flattening. So with this, I have taken up UK. So here we can see it is rising, but very slowly. And May 15, till May 15, it has touched only 250,000 mark before flattening. So after that, there is flattening of its curve. Then Russia and Brazil started and increased their number of assured cases at almost the same pace till May 25 when they had about 100,000 cases more than the UK. So here I've brought that comparison. So 100,000 cases more than the UK. However, India trailed behind all the countries, though showing steady rise in the definite cases till May 25, 2020. So this is the scenario till this baseline that I have chosen. Now here, the points to be noted are, I have used confirmed cases at one place, then I've used the word positive cases at one place, then assured cases, then definite cases. Now here, since we are not writing for the press or for the media, where the most common words used are confirmed cases, positive cases, and active cases. Now, this is academic writing, and in analytical paragraph, one part to be checked is your vocabulary. So, you are not to repeat the same words again and again. So, I've tried to use a different word in the same paragraph. But again, I'm when I'm writing the second paragraph, the body paragraph two, or the conclusion, there I can use any of these words again but that too only one time. So unnecessary repetition will go against us. Now we move on to the body paragraph two. So the number of patients steeply increased by roughly around another million in the US between June 1 to June 6, touching the highest number of cases among the other countries. So in the second part, so again, the US, it is at the highest. Russia increased moderately in its infected cases till July 1 to touch approximately 750,000 mark from where it slightly decreased. So here we can see the Russian line, the blue one. It is increasing though moderately and here, here it is decreased a little. It has come down a little. So both Brazil and India, they showed a swift increase in adding the number of active cases with Brazil reaching the 1.75 million mark and India marginally crossing the Russian figure by July 6, 2020. So here we can see Russia and India, sorry, the Brazil and India. So they started, uh, they were almost at the same pace when 
Brazil, it reached 1.75 billion mark and India, it also shows a swift rise but it marginally crossed the Russian figure by July 6, 2020. So till here, we have to write our report. So now we come to the conclusion. So overall, where on one hand the graph displays an alarming increase in the confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the US, it features a reassuring flattening trend in the UK on the other, over the almost same period of time. So this is the conclusion that one hand there's an alarming increase, but on the other hand, there is a reassuring sign also with UK and obviously rest of the countries, they trail in between. So this is the paragraph and this is an example of writing a line graph and the most based on the most current situation. And obviously it is most expected. Now we can have the whole paragraph together. So this is the whole paragraph. The given line graph illustrates the active COVID-19 caseload among the US, Brazil, India, Russia and the UK from March 1 to July 6, 2020. The graph shows a rocketed increase in the number of confirmed cases in the US from March 25 till May 25, 2020, reaching around 1.75 million. The UK picked up behind the US, though very slowly, it touched only 250,000 mark of positive cases on May 15 before flattening. Russia and Brazil started and increased their number of assured cases at almost the same pace till May 25, when they had about 100,000 cases more than the UK. However, India trailed behind all the countries those showing steady rise in the definite cases till May 25, 2020. The number of patients steeply increased by roughly around another million in the US between June 1 to June 6, touching the highest number of cases among the other countries. Russia increased moderately in its infected cases till July 1 to touch approximately 750,000 mark from where it slightly decreased. Both Brazil and India showed a swift increase in adding the number of active cases, with Brazil reaching the 1.75 mark and India marginally crossing the Russian figure by July 6, 2020. Overall, where on one hand the graph displays an alarming increase in the confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the US, it features a reassuring flattening trend in the UK on the other over the almost same period of time. So this is all about line graph. And one thing I would like to tell is that I have here taken five countries on the graph for you in a 10th standard. Maybe the question, it'll contain only two or at the most three, three things or three categories to be compared. Hope you enjoyed learning it. If you did, Kindly subscribe to my channel as a mark of encouragement. Thank you for watching and kindly do write in the comment box if it was helpful. Thank you for watching.